y'all. Welcome back for another What's in My Bag. My name is Kiss. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my coach bag that my mom got for me when she was on a trip. I have the sweetest mom ever, y'all. And so I, I don't need to explain. I know that this is everybody's favorite videos, what's in my bag. We're all a little nosy. We all want to know what everybody carries. And so this bag is... It's a good size without being too big. It has lots of pockets in it, which I like, but I don't know. I have like a Medea bag. I want to put everything in there, and so the bigger the bag is, the more stuff I want to put, and I have to be careful because I've already had to get the zipper repaired, so I don't want to overstuff it. I want to take care of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get on into it. First, I have my pocket back holder over here. I got this from Bath & Body Works. I like having it on the outside here um, where I can actually take it out instead of having it attached to my purse. So when my hands are dirty, I don't have to be digging all in my purse to clean my hands. So this is strawberry pound cake. It's, it's so yummy. It really smells like what it says and it's one of my favorites. It's a good spring and summer scent too. And over here I have a little puff ball. I don't remember where this came from. Maybe Dollar Tree or something. I'm not sure. So um, we have the embroidered strap here with the logo on it. I guess first I'll get into this front pocket magnetic clothes here. This is where I like to keep things that I want to get to quick and easily. So I have a mask. Um, I've been fully vaccinated so I don't wear it a whole lot anymore. But just in case I need it. And this is a pad, no explanation needed there. And these are my favorite hand wipes. I like to have wipes besides just hand gel because sometimes you need to wipe things down. You know, you sit at a table and it's kind of gross or sometimes you feel more like just wiping your hands off and you feel cleaner than just putting more gel on there. This is a tropical scent. And so um, these can be found Walmart, Target, wherever. I have a tampon in here and some hand spray. This is from Grove. It's an, it's a lavender scent. I, I usually like lavender a lot, but this one's very strong, so I like to spray it in the bathroom or on the toilet seat or something when I'm out. That may be, yep, that's it for that pocket. You can see it's a pretty spacious pocket there. And so, I'll show you there are several pockets in inside this zip part right here. Pocket here, large pocket, a smaller one there. Zip pocket in the middle, which is good for keeping things secure that you don't want anybody to grab. Another small pocket. Another large pocket and a zip pocket. So now you can see how I like to overstuff this thing. I'll get into this front big pocket right here first. I like to carry a Ziploc bag if you're a mom. You know, you, your child usually ends up having leftovers when you're at a restaurant and you don't have anything to put it in, especially fast food. So I like to stick you know have a bag for that and there's been times that we've been traveling from Iowa to Mississippi or back and our daughter will get a high fever and we've tried to stop at emergency rooms and they're so full you 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 know take hours and hours to get in and so anyway if she has a fever I like to fill one of these with ice for to make a you know homemade quick ice pack um, so if you ever have a, a sick one or an injury or whatever, that's also a handy hint. I have icebreakers, cinnamon here. I would like to find a smaller box of mints to go in here, but for right now, that's what I have. A bamboo spoon. So we go through, drive through a lot, especially when we're traveling, and lots of times... You don't get the utensils you need. And you know, if you're if you're on a, a tight schedule and it already takes hours and hours and hours, you need to go on. You don't need to stop and take time to go in there and ask for what you need. So I always have at least a spoon. And you know, if you need a fork or spoon or whatever, you can always eat with a spoon. 
I uh, can't tell you how many times that's come in handy. So I just wash it and put it back in here when I'm done. And I have some keto coconut chocolate. I got these in a package from um, Costco. I think there's another one of those down in here somewhere. Yep, here's another one. Gotta have snacks in your bag, y'all. I, I don't like being hungry. I like to eat. And here's a sugar-free Russell Stover caramel nut cluster. These are really good. I found these at Dollar General. They're, I think, a dollar a pack for several in a pack, so not bad at all. Uh, just my glasses. I mostly use these for distant vision. It's hard to get this open. So, there you go. Some almonds, blue diamond, little travel pack. Other than that, all that's in here is some Russell Stover sugar-free caramels. Those came from, I think, the Dollar Tree. Uh, you'll probably see that I shop at the Dollar Tree a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this little small pocket right here. I have my old school Ray-Bans. I've had these since the 90s. I don't care to buy any new ones because I like these. They're still fine. And so if you ever want a pair of sunglasses that will last and last, if they're still made like they used to be, you know, Ray-Bans all the way. Kleenex. These just came from, again, Dollar Tree. And once again, when I go through the drive-thru, lots of times we don't have salt or sweetener. So I have salt here and sweet leaf stevia packs. This is my favorite brand. Sometimes the even the stevia will have an aftertaste, but I like these best. And lots of times when I go through the Dunkin' drive-thru, I might want a little extra sweetener in my coffee okay now I'll get to this middle zipper part here and here I have just some cute little sticky notes because I never know when I need to write somebody a note and hand it to them and normally I write notes and things on my phone but sometimes you just need a little something to give somebody else this is a Victoria's Secret card holder um, I don't put the important ones out here because I'm afraid they're going to get lost or whatever. So I just have, I think this is probably, yep, my Duncan Rewards card and my um, Blood Type card. And then this is Zips. And I have the important stuff in here. So I'm not going to take that out and show you that. But I also have my keys attached to here. We'll just have, you know, house keys, truck key, and our hospital um, clinic tag let's see oh this is fun I've had this since I was in school <laughs> it just reminds me of being a kid I used to attach it to you know a backpack or whatever and so now I have it on my house keys for my house and my parents house in Mississippi well there's something else in here I think there's pens yeah, I have one of these fun. Once again, that reminds me of being a kid too. Just a fun pen if I want to write in different colors or if my daughter wants to draw while we're out. And then I have a purple pen. No matter what, I will always have a purple pen. It's my favorite. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that. If it's purple, it's mine. On to this pocket, I have wisp little portable toothbrushes these are good for when we're traveling too like you know if i um have an aftertaste of something that i've eaten or if i want to brush my teeth late at night before we get home or whatever so these are always good to have penny liner um flossers these come from walmart i think they're gum brand can't see it on camera yeah, uh, 
and they just detach from each other. Good little case to keep them in there. Shout wipe. If you have never used these, go and get you some because if you spill something on your clothes, this will take it off right away. And then if it if it still lingers a little bit, it washes right out when you wash it. And Tiger Balm. My daughter asks for this a lot, which I would rather her use this instead of taking a pill. But this is, it goes on warm and then it feels really cool for a while. And it just helps for aches and pains and things like that. Even if you're getting a headache, you can put some on your temple. It's kind of strong, but it smells really good. It's like a cinnamon mint type of smell. So I like this a lot. I would rather have something smaller to keep in here. I know it's not that big, but for this purse, um, anyway, yeah, I, I carry it even though it takes up a little, a little bit of space and it's kind of heavy. And some airborne powder. If I'm around somebody that's been sick, I like to have this to put in a bottle of water and I go ahead and drink it because it's got lots of vitamin C and other vitamins in it. So far, knock on wood. And, uh, lavender roller ball. This is good for headaches. It's calming it's healing so if you get a burn you can put on there too uh, this is if you've ever seen my other what's in my bag this has been around forever I just got this from Walmart and it's in four separate little compartments and I keep vitamins um, a leave Tom's stuff like that in here I have, this is like my little drugstore area right here, I guess. I have a calm powder. This can also be put in a bottle of water. If you feel a migraine coming on, you can drink this. And lots of times, it has lots of magnesium in it, if I didn't say that already. It's magnesium powder. So, um, lots of times, that this will help if you catch it soon enough when you're getting a migraine before, before it gets too bad. I think this is like raspberry lemon flavored or something. I found a pack of these on Amazon. That's good for traveling and for a smaller space also. And a dairy relief tablet. This is just a, a little emergency kit with band-aids and antibiotic ointment and stuff. And it helps to keep the band-aids from getting torn up in your bag. This is some eye lubricant. Um, I have allergies. My eyes bother me a lot. So I'm always needing something to to help out with that. Just an emodium. You know, I like to have everything as you can tell. So a lot of stuff in here. Okay. I have um, my Nurtec for migraines. Pepto. Dramamine, my daughter gets motion sickness a lot when we're riding for a long time. And Claritin, once again, the allergies, y'all, especially with pollen, ain't no joke. So, and I have a little heart here. Just thought this was cute to add in. Everybody needs a little extra love sometimes, especially when you're needing something from this little drugstore right here. Need a little something to give you some extra love. I'm not putting everything back in because I'm sure this video is getting kind of long. So I will work more on that later. Now what's left is this very big back pocket and this smaller zipper one here. This is my like my makeup section. First I have a scent bird of Skylar. Vanilla Sky. This is one of my very favorite scents that I discovered from Scentbird. It's got notes of vanilla, cappuccino, caramel, all the good stuff. If it's gourmand, I'm going to love it. And so that's why this is one of my favorites. And I like to keep something like this in my purse because you just pop that back down in there. And don't have to worry about it spraying out. And my favorite ever, ever, ever is Angel from Terry Moogler. 
This has also got a lot of vanilla. I think it also has uh, bergamot. It also has uh, chocolate or cappuccino or caramel or something. As you can tell, I like the same type of notes. And so um, I got the travel size of these little samples from Amazon. And so I like to keep these in my bags where I'm not carrying around this big, huge bottle right here. I can show you the original. I love this bottle. I would love to carry it around, but it's so big and heavy. I wish I had a smaller one of these. If you have ever seen a small one somewhere, please let me know because I would love to have one. This is just, it makes me so happy. This bottle is pretty and the scent is my favorite ever. I would love to have a small one. Oops, wrong pocket. This is my little nail kit. So right now I just have press-ons from Dashing Diva from Sally's. And so I put the extra ones in here. There's also clippers. There's alcohol pads. There's orange sticks. All the necessities. Um, emery board. Um, nail glue. All that. Depending on... Sometimes I do my own acrylics too. So if, you know, I happen to break one or something. Then, or I need the file. Or just depends on what I need. I have both in here. And I have a little primerizer from Smashbox that I got in a little um, free sample kit from Ulta. So I like to have just the bare necessities in here for if I, I, I don't drive. So I can do my makeup on the way while my husband drives. And here's another primerizer. So if I have, you know, like a primer, uh, mascara, lip gloss, you know, I'm pretty much good for makeup. Uh, Hemp's Sugar Cane and Papaya. This is one of my favorite scents from them ever. It's very fruity, very sweet. Hemp's Lotion soaks in really well, moisturizes really well without leaving that greasy feeling. I like it a lot. Got that from Ulta also. And this is just a little lipstick from Urban Decay. There we go. This was also a sample from a, something that I got from Ulta. See if I can get this out with one hand. I don't know if you would call this mauve or nude, but it's just a good neutral shade. It's not much darker than my natural lips, actually. So it's just, just enough for a little something something. That's about it. I have a little gel blush. This also came from Ulta. I guess the brand is too cool for school. I don't know. That's all I could find. But um, it's very sheer, which is what I like. I don't like a lot of blush. And this, I thought this little tin was so cute. It, it's like those little lip glosses and lip balms we used to use and carry around with a little girl. I have an Oreo lip balm. It's okay. It's not quite what I expected. I wish it had a little more flavor or scent to it, but you know, it's fine. I think I got that from the Dollar Tree. And a brush to blend the eyeshadow and stuff with. This came in a little free kit from Ulta once again. And I'll get to the eyeshadow stick in a minute that I use that with. This is just a cute little lip gloss that my daughter didn't want anymore, and so I took it because I thought it was so pretty. It's just a very sheer iridescent, I don't know if you can tell on camera, and I don't want to take it out right now. It smells like chocolate though, y'all. If I knew what brand this was, I would look for another one after it ran out, but it's fun and just a little sheer color. This is from the fall. It's a collab that Ulta had from, I, I cannot remember the brand, y'all, but it's from the Charmed movie. I can't remember the name of the movie either. You know, the one with the Sphinx, I think, is the cat's name and the three witches. Y'all are probably going to come for me for not even remembering the name of the movie, but I've only watched it a couple times. It's cute. But anyway, this is a very, very deep purple don't know if I can get this all the way out either, but sometimes when I'm in the mood for something darker, I don't know if you can tell or not, this is what I like. 
And I have a small scrunchie. My hair is pretty short, like chin length, so that's all I need is something small. Here is a Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This looks super dark, I know, but it's not. It's a very sheer color. I feel like it just works with whatever color your natural lip color is. And um, I probably have worn this for longer than some of you have heard of it. There you go. You can see it's just a very sheer, it's like a tinted balm. And that's one of my all-time favorites. Just a cute little mirror that came from Dollar Tree. Always got to have a mirror in here. I could use my phone and flip it, you know, to selfie mode to use for a mirror, but I don't like doing that. For some reason, it just looks different. I always like to have these in here, too, for traveling, you know, if I want to wipe my face up at night or if we've been out for a while and I want to take my makeup off. If you've been wearing a mask for a while, it's always good to wipe your face when you get it off also. So I got a pack of these. That's about it. Oh, one more thing. Here's some Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. This is just a little travel sample size from somewhere. I'm not sure where. May have been Ulta. Okay. And the only thing I have left is... I can't get it unzipped. Here's the little coach emblem on the inside of it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back part unzipped or not. But really, y'all, all I have in there is my phone charger for the car and my cord anyway. Here we go. I don't know if um, if you've found this out yet, but the new Galaxy phones, like I have the S21 Ultra, they have a different connection to them, so I had to replace all of my chargers. It's not the normal USB. So anyway... That's what this is, and then I have the cord to go with that, and that's everything. So, thank you all once again for watching this video. I, I love doing these. They're so fun. I'll probably have another one here again soon. So, if you like to, to chat with me, leave me a comment. I would like to hear from you. Okay, thanks for watching.